everybody, it's Bones of the Night. It's kind of been a long time no video, at least in this kind of format. Usually, <laughs> lately, my uploads have either been shorts or just audio videos, and it wasn't more so because I don't want to be on camera. Um, obviously, I've got that podcast going on with a couple of different Goosebumps YouTubers and people in general on YouTube who enjoy Goosebumps called Goosebumps Podcast Can't Be Murdered. So, a lot of time has been sank into that lately. We usually film an episode a weekend or sometimes two, depending on how busy we are. And I try to spend the week editing them between my other two jobs and everything else I do. Plus, I've said this before, I run like six other channels, five other channels. I, I don't even know anymore. It's just like this. All my free time just goes to making videos. I'm supposed to start watching the One Piece anime and Jujutsu Kaisen anime, and I am stupid far behind. Uh, problem is, I come up with an idea, and I kind of just throw all my energy into it, and then I kind of forget about everything else around me. I'm like one of those hyper-focused people. I will literally grab a drink from the fridge when I'm playing a video game. I'll sit it down next to me, and I'm so locked into the game, the drink will get hot. I won't even drink it. It'll stay sealed. It'll be hot. I'll have to put it back and get another one because I just lock in. I really hate this fucking term because I don't like saying it's what this is. It's not really an update video, it's just kind of me, I guess it is an update video. Some personal troubles in my life I don't really want to get into, but, you know, this time of year, it can be hard for people. I'm not saying it's hard for me, like, you don't got to worry about me, I'm okay. Uh, there's been some issues, so it's kind of made filming stuff like this hard. Like I said, I don't really want to get into it. Um, just know that it's not you guys, it's just right after the Goosebump show I did, like, some shit happened, and I've been mending said shit, so... And then we rolled right into the one holiday after the other. But the main reason I'm on here, um, it's two things. One, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to one of my contest winners. This is from Shadyside Library. He sent me a very nice thank you card. And inside it came one of his awesome custom made bookmarks. I don't know if I got that backwards. Um, which also can be used as a Christmas ornament, which he stated in the card. So I just wanted to shout you out. Thank you so much, Shadyside Library. I really appreciate this. It's really awesome. Uh, our Christmas tree actually isn't even up this year. It, I don't know about you guys, it doesn't feel like Christmas, especially not down here in Florida. We've had a couple cold days, but the kind of lesson I've learned in this last couple weeks span is that Christmas is more of a feeling or a mindset than it is an actual holiday. And if you're not having a good time, you're going to have a really hard time tuning in to those Christmas vibes. Like, uh, at work we've been listening to Christmas stuff, we just had a Christmas party yesterday, and it didn't even matter because everything just kind of feels fucking pointless. Um, so, the <laughs> point of the matter is... I uh, don't have the tree up, so I didn't get to hang it up, but I wanted to say thank you nonetheless, Shady Side. I appreciate the bookmark. It shall be put to good use when I do have time to read. And for a couple of my other contest winners, I'm more so addressing the last four of you. So, one of you bowed out. You know who you are, and that's okay. Uh, we'll figure something out for that. We, we good. But there's one of you that's in Australia, and I don't remember the name off the top of your head, but I have your package packed. You chose the book that I remember off the top of my head was Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It's packed. Unfortunately, you live in Australia, so shipping is a bitch. I'm going to do it. It's just money's been really tight with the holidays. So I don't want you to think that I forgot about you. I have it set aside, pre-packed and everything. It's in my car. The other winner, uh, you live in Sri Lanka. So uh, thanks for watching me. Uh, I will get it to you. It's just shipping is stupid expensive. But I have your address. I have it preset. That is also in my car. My last two winners, the last two that I'm waiting to kind of hear back from. You both reached out to me on Discord. You claimed my email didn't work, but you got me on Discord, and then you never responded. So, Sean B., and I want to say it was Mr. Owen or the original Owen. The two of you reached out to me and then went ghost. So, hopefully, you'll reach out to me in this video or in the comments section. I will, once again, try to link an email you can reach me at because I don't know how I messed that up last time. So, let me go grab the books that are left. You guys can find out in the comment section who gets what. I just want to get these out so I can kind of be done with this. I feel like it's dragged on way too long. The four books left are Mostly Ghostly, Who Let the Ghosts Out. I think this is the first Mostly Ghostly out of all of them. The next one is Mostly Ghostly, Have You Met My Ghoul Friend? And I don't know which one came first. I think it was... Mo oh, duh, no, they have. They've got them on the spine. So it's the first two Mostly Ghostly. And then if you're not feeling the Mostly Ghostly, we have a copy of... It's the first day of school forever, which if I'm not mistaken, this was supposed to be one of the Goosebumps 2000 books and didn't happen, but I could be wrong. If you need more information on that, go check out Goosebumps Completionist. He's kind of like the historian on this stuff. And then last but not least, it is a soft paperback of Dangerous Girls by R.L. Stein, which is like a vampire series. So these are what's left. Uh, two of you guys each pick two books and let me know. Get back to me so I can get those shipped out. Uh -oh. 
reach out to me. I want to get these to you. Then I can close the chapter on this and maybe 2024 won't suck so hard. I do appreciate everything you guys have done for me, commenting, interacting with my content, listening to the podcast we're doing. Uh, it's been actually really fun getting back to podcasting. It kind of took me back to the core burrito roots and I miss that. If you enjoy my content and you feel like you're not getting enough of me, uh, you can always go check out the Horror Burrito. That is a separate page I run. That page I do a weekly update of like nightmares and news. So anything horror related in the news, I cover them as the burrito. Uh, also, in my free time, which I'm working on right now, I also do uh, movie reviews where me and the burrito just kind of go back and forth. Movie review, podcast, show animation, thing that no one watches. Well, that was a mouthful. It's just all me, but it's animated and it's me doing my voice. So, just a different form of like media outlet I'm working on extending myself in. Besides that, uh, I told you guys, but this is my last like video that the Goosebumps Beyond Number Two. I had recorded it, and then I deleted my whole camera roll like an idiot, so it still hasn't been re-recorded. That's just one of those things in life, unfortunately. You know, on top of that, I'm still working on a new series now. If you've already seen them, great. And if you don't like them, that's okay. But I'm doing this new thing for it's more for TikTok and the shorts here because apparently shorts is the way to go with YouTube according to the algorithm. I'm doing Goosebumps in 60 seconds. So the first couple ones are up now. I'm going to do the entire series. Then I'm going to move on to the Give Yourself, followed by the 2000 series, and then Horland. It's going to it's going to be a long year of like 60 second reviews. But I still plan to do longer reviews. And if you want to hear more of my thoughts on the books, check out my one podcast called Goosebumps Can Be Murder. Me and a couple other people break down the book. So far, we've done Dead House, Stay Out of the Basement, Monster Blood, Say Cheese and Die, and we've also reviewed the first five episodes of the new series. We're waiting on Evan to come back in to review the second half, but sooner than later, that'll be up. Yeah, check that out. I got pretty much weekly reviews dropping, so if you want to just put it on and listen to something or watch us all be animated inside a bar. Like I said, 2023 sucked, and I'm hanging on by, by a thread, but you know, I do it for you guys. And that being said, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for all the time you spent with me this year. I hope you have a happy and safe holiday. I hope you guys have a happy holiday and a safe new year. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one.